Welcome back. And we're going to continue on this discussion with proteins and talking about those amino acids. Like we said, amino acids are these building blocks that help make proteins. Now, when we classify amino acids, when it comes to nutrition and in the horse, there are essential, non-essential, and conditionally essential. Essential means the horse must get this in the diet. Like I said in the previous lesson, the horse needs specific amino acids to make specific proteins. And if they're missing some of that, they can't. These are the essential amino acids like lysine, methionine, threonine. Those are the big three, but there's others like arginine. You can read the list there. These are essential amino acids that the horse needs day in, day out in their diets to be able to thrive right? Just not just to maintain their body, but thrive and do these things that we ask for them. Non-essential amino acids, that means the body can make them. Conditionally essential means this is where a horse may need more amino acids or certain amino acids due to like illness or exercise, heavy exercise. They might need some more so they can build more muscle and maintain body function. And when I talk about the scaffolding and building these proteins, this is a useful uh, diagram to kind of show you what I mean. Now, if we used a rain barrel and each one of those slats are called staves and you can see the different levels of different amino acids and that rain barrel can only hold as much water as their lowest level of amino acids. So if you have really low amounts of, say, lysine, you know, according to this example, you wouldn't hold, be able to hold much rainwater. But again, in the horse's body, they're not going to be able to make certain proteins. So that is why we look at the amino acid level and the quality of protein in their diets. Because again, lysine is always the most important. And we call it the first limiting amino acid, meaning the horse can't do things or thrive if it has really low levels of lysine. And you may have heard that before. You'll hear it again, not only in this course and future courses, but anytime you talk about proteins and amino acids, lysine is the first one that comes up. If you have protein deficiency in your horse, uh, their muscles not going to be as great. So they're going to have a weak top line. Uh, hoofs aren't going to be as strong hair or coats. Aren't going to look as great. They're not going to be able to perform as well. You know, they're going to get sick or if they do get sick, it's going to be tough to recover. So again, proteins are so important. Now that will lead to the question, how much does my horse need each day? You know, protein of lysine, and there's some simple calculations you can do just to get their basic requirements at maintenance. Now, these are horses not exercising, uh, but just day-to-day -day living. And you can calculate their minimum requirement or the average requirement is probably what we'd recommend or elevated. And this is a horse that's kind of hot, moving around quite a bit. So they might be using a little bit more than normal. When you do that, you can just calculate the horse's body weight and it's either 1.08 for minimum, 1.26 for average, or elevated 1.44. And that number in grams will give you how much protein per day. Now, in our example in the slide, 500 kilogram, 1100 pound horse, that's your average riding horse. You can see the differences from 610 grams, 630 grams, or 720 grams. Now, lysine is the only amino acid we have research on, on how much a horse needs per day. And again, you can do a calculation for minimum or optimum, and you can see the calculations there, where it would be 18 grams for that 500 kilogram horse or 27 grams, or you can just times their protein requirement times 4.3%, and that will give you an idea of how much lysine they need each day. Now in feeds, where do we get high quality protein? Well, forage, again, is where horses should be getting most of their protein in the diet, if not all. 
So if you look at the bottom of this chart, legume hay or grass hay, you can see protein ranges and legume hay is a little bit up towards a 20%. Those average grass hay is about 10%. And you can see the lysine percentage of that is about 4.8 or 4.85. But when we feed things like concentrate or bagged feed, they balance that out, the protein with soybean meal. That's a pretty common one. You can see soybean meal is very high in crude protein and lysine. Uh, canola meal, flax meal, other things that can be fed to horses to help balance out that protein. And then if you were going to feed them to the horse, this is what they would look like. So you could, you know, obviously your legume haze, your grass haze, but also your soybean meal, canola meal, or flax meal, all excellent sources of protein, balancing that out in the diet. But again, most horses will be able to get that from their forage or should be getting protein from their forage then maybe you might need some additional amino acids for those special cases. Now, the next part of this is, you know, looking at forage and then vitamins and minerals. Those are the only things left that we haven't talked about. So look for those lessons coming your way next. <music> 